are you? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Con treating you well? I have to tell you how much of a fan I've been since Alias. Thank you. I still reference you as Sark. <laughs> okay, Sorry. I'll take it. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I reference myself in the mirror as Sark. <laughs> I'm like, you're gonna do well today. You're gonna be all right. So this character is obviously a, a little bit different than some of the other supernatural type of characters you play, like with Vampire Diaries and things like that. What did you do to prepare for the role or anything? And did you watch any zombie movies to see any? Uh, well, I lost 20 pounds from the pilot to the second episode. Um, and then once you get in the uh, once you get in the makeup and you get in these like rocker chic clothes and uh, and uh, you get you know you, you start to develop a bit of this this zombie swagger that I wanted Blaine to have. So it's you know that as far as research and stuff like that, no, I didn't do any of that because we're we're a different kind of breed of zombie. We're uh, feeling thinking zombies. Um, who need to eat brains to maintain our humanity, if you will. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so in the last episode, we saw one of the party goers who didn't quite fare well, who's been stuck inside the container and is like, got full on zombie and it has no, she hasn't been able to be fed. Are we going to see some more of those types of zombies? Because you're obviously creating more zombies as well. Right. Yeah, we are going to see those 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 uh, more Walking Dead zombies because those exist uh, in our world. Uh, if, if you don't get the brains you need, you become that. You become ravenous. And you become dangerous. Um, so you, yes, you will see some more of that. Yeah. What I find interesting about this character is she's got a little bit of a zombie. Right. Like playing this versus the other, what do you bring to this role to give it that You know, I, I uh, that's what really drew me to this this project was the the humor in the script. Um, I, I couldn't stop laughing in the, in the pilot script, and I was, uh, you know, for the whole of my career, I haven't really been allowed to do comedy. You know, you play a bad guy once, and you're not really. Uh, <laughs> I think that's all you can be. And again, I'm a bad guy, but. Uh, I'm calling this a, a Zomcom rom drum. <laughs> so uh, I jumped at the opportunity to be a part of it. And and the lines that uh, you know our, our great writers and Rob and Diane they come up with is, is they're just fantastic and they're so much fun to say. So it's uh, it's very easy to be funny with you know under their tutelage. Does that, does that work? And your character seems like he walks the line between sort of impulsivity and being really like calculating and diabolical. How is that for you to play and like achieve that mixture of the two? Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's good insight. Um, I would agree with that. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. It's, it's just, uh, again, you know, you just, you just try to, try to play the truth of every, every line and, uh, and sometimes the impulsivity comes off, and sometimes the calculated. There's, he has, he has, he has designs. He has designs on taking over the town, but sometimes he can't, you know, get out of his own way. <laughs> on that same note, sometimes the mustache twirling the villains of a piece aren't always the most interesting. Yeah. So what motivations do you bring to this character? What makes your character unique that he's not a villain in his own mind, or is he? You know what. I like to say, I get asked that question a lot because based on, you know, the canon of my work, <laughs> all I've played is bad guys. So you, I, I usually use the stock answer of he, he lives his life like it's right, you know, like he's doing the right thing. If you don't see it as right, if the protagonist in the story doesn't see it as right, that's too bad. Right. Because he's the protagonist of his own story. But Blaine... He's a bad dude, man, and he doesn't mind being bad, and he likes being bad. So um, there is going to be some humanizing storylines uh, you'll see through the first season, but you know that comes to a halt quickly. I'll tell you, there's uh, there's love in the air. Um, you're going to meet. You're going to get uh, inside of my operation. Uh, my my uh, my brains brain dealing operation. Uh, you're going to meet some of my uh, my zombie army, if you will. Uh, and that's about all I can. I, I I don't know how much I'm allowed to teach. <laughs> well, we can find out how you became a zombie. Like, there's obviously an origination. So, did you see that backstory at all? Like how? 
Yes, there there will be. Uh, yeah, that's that that goes through the entire season. We're trying to get to the bottom of, of why we became zombies and um, and 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 how to cure zombieism. And uh, yeah, you'll see all of that. <laughs> all right, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you very much.